But Brian, for those folks traveling this weekend, better get out earlier than later. Yeah, today's a great day to get out. Tomorrow morning, maybe. It yeah. all really just depends <laughs> on when the wet weather starts to kind of kick into high gear, but it's going to be heavier for the second half of tomorrow as opposed to the morning. You might be able to get out and get some things done. It's just not going to be a pretty day. You might want to find different plans too for those later outdoor activities. Yeah, make sure your internet's working. It's a good streaming weekend, I'll tell you <laughs> that. Uh, we've got some cloudy, breezy, and cool weather returning to the forecast. Clouds will be gradually increasing today. We've got some chilly weekend rain in the forecast as well. We'll talk temperatures here in a moment. A warm up next week, in fact, Got a couple of days uh, late next week where temperatures will be back close to 80 degrees, if not into the 80s by week's end. That's not where our temperatures are right now. We're mostly in the, uh, the low to mid 50s across the triad with a cool spot of Martinsville of 47 degrees, 54 Greensboro, Lexington, North Wilkesboro and Mount Airy this morning. Uh, clouds are starting to build in from the south as that system approaches. We still have that cool northeast wind. We can't shut this down. This has been with us all week long and has kept temperatures well below the average high of around 80 degrees. That area of low pressure is beginning to take shape. The high is steering in the cool air. It's a dry air mass helping to keep our our temperatures down somewhat. Our Florida low, non tropical at the moment, has the slightest chance of becoming tropical and might feel like a cool tropical system as it moves in because we're going to have some some gusty winds at times. We're going to have some steady rain at times uh, as the system pushes northward. Now, this is only gradually beginning to move our way, and we'll show you the hour by hour in just a couple of minutes. I think we'll start with a few thin spots in the clouds this morning, but clouds will gradually build northeast winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour today, but may gust to 25. That's going to keep temperatures in the 60s for most of, of today with a high close to 70 uh, this afternoon. Northeast winds at about 10 to 15 and highs across Surrey and Yadkin counties will be close to 70 as well. Mountain temperatures in the mid 60s with an east northeast wind at 10 to 15. Good cloud cover everywhere. Probably a few thin spots though in the morning. So as you look at temperatures for the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, one thing that kind of jumped out at us uh, looking at some of the uh, the records for yesterday, the coolest the high has ever been for Saturday's date is 62 degrees. That's in jeopardy of falling. I think Sunday we have a better shot of getting above that uh, record low high of uh, 59 degrees uh, where we're forecasting lower 60s. It really just depends on how wet Sunday is. So as we go through the hour by hour, clouds start to gather mid 60s by lunchtime, a high very close to 70 this afternoon. We are dry today with increasing clouds. Even tonight looks relatively dry. Could see a few showers in the morning. Let's kind of ease into your Saturday forecast. You see the showers moving in around late morning, midday. Now there's some give or take here on a later arrival would allow temperatures to get a little bit milder. I think our high is going to come just before the rain starts and then the rain will cool temperatures down into the 50s. 50s with wind and rain on a Saturday over holiday weekend. It's not going to be a pretty day. Uh, best rains continue through Saturday evening and Sunday morning and then it's kind of spotty and lighter for Sunday. I'm hopeful that by Monday we get a little more sun back, but still looking pretty volatile with a chance for showers and storms. Try to get to the beach to avoid the rain. It's actually going to be wetter there than it is here. You can see temperatures inching back toward the 80s by late next week.